Hello YouTube land, this is Clay of Major Disappointment Models. I know I'm a little late to the game, but I talked to Papa Dan. And uh, even though today is the 28th of March and the build ends the 31st, he said that uh, I could still join. Um, what I'm trying to do is trying to finish a model. And I have uh, a couple of months to get this done for our club and life has just been so busy I haven't been able to do anything but I saw this at Hobby Lobby and uh, I already had the Millennium Falcon uh, I wanted the blockade runner so I picked it up and as you can see it's still new in the box um, I've already cut the plastic off the box but you can see it's still in the plastic here Bandai makes these really nice kits I mean you don't even have to use glue on them and you can paint them up and everything. So this one is the Millennium Falcon. And you see there's not a whole hell of a lot of parts. So I, I actually can get them together pretty quickly. The problem is I can't detail them, weather them, stuff. Because I just don't have time. So, uh, But I'm going to try to get this one. So here are the uh, stickers. I see. These might be the decals on this side. And then on the other side they usually have the stickers. So that's probably in there somewhere. And then the, the clear plastic that's over here, and these are the, the bases. And you can see them a little better through here, right here. Okay, so this is the blockade runner, and you can see, again, uh, it's not a whole hell of a lot of pieces. This is supposed to be a 1 in 1,000 scale, and the Millennium Falcon is a 1 in 350. So, okay. And Bandai, of course, they make their great instructions, all in Japanese, but, you know, if you can follow it, uh, they got some in English, but if you can follow the pictures, they're, they're really nice kits. I really like the way they go together. So here's all the sprues, and here are the instructions on how to build the kit. And that's the blockade runner, so you can see it's... Not a lot to it. And the Millennium Falcon. And then on the back, they have the call outs for the decals, what goes where. And then for the blockade runner. And again, you know, there isn't much you have to do to these. Just to make them look a little better, you want to, you want to, to weather them a little bit because the plastic is just so stark you know it's you know it's got great detail in it so if you weather it you actually uh, can highlight it with dry brushing too some of this great detail in it and it's unbelievable you know this let's see if I can find a ruler Ugh. this is the body the blockade runner and it's only three inches long see that so it's really nice so and then by the time you throw the engines on it's maybe a little bit longer but beautiful kit so uh, i'm gonna go dump this in some uh water with some dawn dish liquid and give it a good cleaning and then i'll get started on it okay so it's in the bath a little warm water with some dawn dish liquid to remove all the uh the mold release and stuff like that, all the chemicals on it. Uh, I don't find there's too much on Bandai. I don't know what kind of plastic they use and stuff, but but I do this with all my models. You hear guys will use uh, simple green, some other stuff, so not bad. This is a Dollar Tree brush, and you can see it's really soft, so you don't have to worry about using it on, on your fine detail. It won't break them or anything like that. So this, I already brushed it, cleaned it. It's going to soak for about a minute or two, and then I'm going to rinse it. Okay, be back. So here are the parts all drying out. And uh, before you guys panic, I always put one of them little um, drain screens that you can buy at the Dollar Tree store and some other places in the sink before I rinse the models out to catch all the little parts that might have bro broken off. Or might have been loose in a bag. Um, got none with this with Bandai though, so 
So let's take a closer look. It's still wet. But the detail, as small as these kits are, the detail on these Bandai kits is just unbelievable. So again, this is the sprue with the blockade runner on it. And here's the Millennium Falcon. Look at that. Look at that detail. Unbelievable. And that's what gets me in trouble all the time. It's not putting together the models, which I enjoy doing. It it helps control my PTSD or anger issues or whatever the hell my wife's calling it these days. Um, helps put them in check. You know, it gives me something to do. Takes my mind off life. But, uh, Doing stuff like, you know, these are the exhaust vents. So you're going to have to make them black and then streak them out and everything. You know, it that's what takes the time. And I, life's in the way. I don't have time sometimes. So, but I'm going to lay these out. God, look at this. Just un, I, I'm always amazed at Bandai. It's unbelievable. So, but as you can see, not a lot of parts, and you really don't need any glue, it just snaps together. It, I've never had issues with these little Bandai kits, or even the big Bandai kits, so. Alright, so, as soon as it dries, I'll start putting it together, we'll see you soon.